Modern big bands tend to treat um, closed voicing passages the way the Count Basie Orchestra popularized it. Billy Strayhorn's approach to uh, closed block voicing is very different. Hey there, this is Marla Martinez, bassist, composer, and music director for Marlonius Jazz Orchestra. Welcome to another episode of Strayhorn Sundays. One of my favorite orchestration techniques Billy Strayhorn uses uh, that I don't hear very often in modern big bands today is a particular closed voicing approach that is a hallmark to Ellington Strayhorn ensemble passages. Modern big bands tend to treat um, closed voicing passages the way the Count Basie Orchestra popularized it. One Basie style in particular, the Basie four part, involves four note trumpet chords moving in closed block voicing. The trumpets are duplicated by the trombones and the saxes down an octave. The baritone sax gets to play the top line two octaves down. All voices move parallel to the lead trumpet so that block chords harmonize the melody. Two other variations have the trumpets in four-part closed voicing, with the trombones and saxes down an octave, often more spread out uh, in voicing. The baritone sax plays bass notes instead of the melody line. The two octave range and duplicated parts uh, create a thick resonance, it's a thick louder resonance that, that totally defines the big band sound. Billy Strayhorn's approach to uh, closed block voicing is very different. Instead of duplicating four note trumpet chords down an octave in the trombones and saxes, he voices those instruments within the same octave as the trumpets. The baritone sax gets to play the melody line just one octave below the trumpet, and the bass trombone either doubles the melody in unison with the baritone or handles bass notes uh, and other chord tones just below the octave. This is a different kind of compactness. The instruments color and complicate the sound of the trumpets, uh, which are heard more obviously in bassy uh, type voicings. Uh, the instruments are now much closer together in register. Duke Ellington pioneered this style back in the mid-late 1930s. It showcased Harry Carney's rich melodic playing on baritone sax with the buzz of the brass on top. <laughs> band wove their sound around the baritone sax uh, for block chord voicings, even if the baritone gets a little high in, in its register. Billy Strayhorn personalized this sound when he joined the Ellington Orchestra. Even in the 1940s, uh, Strayhorn leaned more on the diminishing dissonances while expanding the tonal possibilities with more major 7, minor 11, and altered dominant chords. Strayhorn's hip alterations influenced a line of progressive big band contemporaries. Gil Evans, Thad Jones, and Quincy Jones, just to name a few. Strayhorn seemed to use this sound for longer durations. He often repeated voicings to achieve uh, compositional structure and thematic development. Ellington, on the other hand, uh, used these voicings generally for uh, contrast and effect. This sound often illustrated uh, romance, excitement, sadness, loss, all qualities that are pure Strayhorn. Examples include Isfahan, The New Look, Johnny Come Lately, Overture to a Jam Session, Charade.
Put yourself in my place, baby. Some Marlonious examples include Bibi's birthday, and Blues to be Blue. Strayhorn, of course, used other techniques that the Basie arrangers and other famous composers used. It just depended on uh, the band that he was writing for and for the sake of musical variety. But this sound is part of that uh, personal Strayhorn touch uh, I, I wish I could hear a little bit more of today. <laughs> 